We're still in the June Auth 7 exam, the bottom part of page 10, starting with questions 58, 59, and 60, which all pertain to this diagram. We have a 3 ohm resistor, an unknown resistor in parallel, and two amp meters, one and two, 12 volt source, and amp meter two reading 5 amps. Now, a technique for doing circuits which my students will recognize, and it might be new to you, is do a little bit of a data grid. You want to keep track of uh, voltage, current, and resistance. And we have in this circuit the total, one resistor and a second resistor. And the first thing we do is we put in the knowns. We know that the total voltage is 12 volts. We know that the total current out of that power source is 5 amps. We know that one leg, the resistance is 3 ohms. And we're looking for everything else. So the first question is to determine the equivalent resistance. Well, this data table allows us to do everything. We get our formula sheet out. We go to electricity and we find Ohm's law, which says that the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. And then there's specific rules for parallel circuits. The current one place is equal to, uh, the, the total current is equal to one plus the other plus the other. The voltage in a parallel circuit is the same everywhere, same voltage drop, and this equation to find total resistance. So in our data grid, we can say that the uh, total voltage here would be 12 volts because it uh, senses 12 volts. And the total voltage here would also be 12 volts. We can then find uh, any of the resultant. So let's find this total resistance. We know that resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. We just got that from Ohm's law. So we can find that the total resistance is going to be 12 volts divided by 5 amps. My calculator says that's 2.4 ohms. As long as we're here, let's go find everything else. We can find the current in this resistor because, again, Ohm's law says resistance is voltage over current, but current is voltage divided by resistance. So uh, 12 volts divided by 3 ohms would give us 4 amps of current. And then, ready for this? In a parallel circuit, the total current is equal to the sum of the individual currents. So if we know that the total current is 5 amps, and that's equal to 4 amps plus the unknown, we can just throw in 1 amp here, and 4 plus four, uh, 1 is 5. And we can find the resistance over here, because we know that resistance is voltage divided by current. So 12 volts divided by 1 amp gives us 12 ohms of resistance. And in a parallel circuit, the total resistance is always going to be less than the individual resistors. So this is 3 ohms, 12, so the 2.4 is less than that. We could use the equation if it's necessary. All right, so now we know everything about this circuit. Let's go answer our questions. Determine the equivalent resistance of the circuit. That's worth one point. So for one point, all they want is the answer. And there it is, they gave you the unit. So it was 2.4 ohms. Question 59. Calculate the current measured by the amp meter one and they want you to show all your work, including the equation with substitution. So we want this current here, which we found already. And we'd used current equals voltage divided by resistance. So let's list our knowns. The voltage at that point, V1, is equal to 12 volts. The resistance at that point was 3 ohms that was given to us. 
and the current is what we're looking for. Current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. 12 volts divided by 3 ohms. And the current would be equal to 4 amps. Hmm. If we were really going to show a lot of work, we would say that V1 is equal to V total from this equation. V total is equal to V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V3, dot, dot, dot. And so 12 volts is equal to 12 volts is equal to 12 volts. So we can find our voltage using that equation. Um, for two points, I don't think they're asking for this. However, there it is. Question 60 asks us to calculate the resistance of the unknown resistor. Show all work, including the equation, in substitution with units for two points. Well, we already know what it is but we have to show how we got it. So we start off with, uh, we're looking for R2. Well, we have this equation from the formula sheet. For parallel circuits, 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And write 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 which means 1 over R2 is equal to 1 over R total minus 1 over R1. So 1 over R2 is equal to 1 over 2.4 ohms minus 1 over 3 ohms. And that would be easy enough to punch into the calculator, especially if you use this button, which is the 1 over X key. I happen to have 2.4 already there, so I hit reciprocal, minus 3 reciprocal, and that's equal to that number there, and when I hit the reciprocal button again, I bet you I'm getting 12. There it is. So our total is equal to 12, don't forget the ohms. They love the units. If you really wanted to spend a lot of time and you didn't have a reciprocal button, you could use this technique. You could say current in 2 is equal to current total minus current in 1. So that would be 5 amps minus 4 amps gave us 1 amp. And we knew voltage in 2 was equal to voltage total. It's equal to voltage 1. So voltage in 2 is equal to 12 volts. And then you could say resistance in 2 is equal to voltage in 2 divided by current in 2. Resistance in 2 is equal to 12 volts divided by 1 amp. Resistance in 2 is also equal to 12 ohms. Don't forget the units.